subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for AWS Machine Learning. So let's get started. Question number 1, What is bias error in machine learning algorithm? Your answer is, Bias is the common error in the machine learning algorithm due to simplistic assumptions. It may undermine your data and does not allow you to achieve maximum accuracy. Further generalizing the knowledge from the training set to the test sets would be highly difficult for you. Question number 2, What do you understand by variance error in machine learning algorithm? Your answer is, Variance error is common in machine learning when the algorithm is highly complex, and difficult to understand as well. It may lead high degree of variation to your training data that can lead the model to overfit the data. Also, there could be so much noise for the training data that is not necessary in case of the test data. Question number 3, what is the bias variance trade-off? Your answer is, the bias variance trade-off is able to handle the learning errors effectively, and manages noise too that happens due to underlying data, essentially, this trade-off will make the model more complex than usual but errors are reduced optimally. Question number 4, how will you differentiate the supervised and unsupervised machine learning? Your answer is, supervised learning needs data in a labeled form. For example, if you wanted to classify the data then you should first label the data then classify it into groups. On the other hand, unsupervised does not need any data labeling explicitly. Question number 5, how will you explain the Fourier transformation in machine learning? Your answer is, a Fourier transformation is the generic method that helps in decomposing functions into a series of symmetric functions. It helps you in finding the set of cycle speeds, phases, and amplitude to match the particular time signal. It has the capability to convert the signal into frequency domain like sensor data or more. Question number 6, how will you differentiate the machine learning and deep learning algorithms? Your answer is, the deep learning is a part of machine learning that is usually connected with the neural networks. This is a popular technique from neuroscience to model a set of labeled and structured data more precisely. In brief, deep learning is an unsupervised learning algorithm that represents data with the help of neural nets. Question number 7, how will you differentiate the generic model from the discriminative model? Your answer is, a generic model will explain the multiple categories of data while the discriminative model simply tells the difference between data categories. They are used in classification tasks and need to understand deeply before you actually implement them. Question number 8, How does machine learning differ from deep learning? Your answer is, Machine learning is about algorithms that analyze the data, learn from it, and make informed decisions based on it. On the other hand, deep learning is a form of machine learning inspired by the human brain structure. It is used in feature detection. Question number 9, How does the recommendation engine work? Explain using the example of Amazon. Your answer is, The recommendation engine works based on the association algorithm. It identifies similar patterns in a given data set. For example, when a consumer makes a purchase on Amazon, the purchase data gets stored in Amazon's data set. Later, the algorithm selects products similar to the purchased product and displays it on the consumer screen. Question number 10, what is cross-validation? Your answer is, cross-validation is a method of splitting all your data into three parts, training, testing, and validation data. Data is split into K subsets, and the model has trained on K1 of those data sets. The last subset is held for testing. This is done for each of the subsets. This is K-fold cross-validation. Finally, the scores from all the k-folds are averaged to produce the final score. And number 11, what is hyperparameter optimization? Your answer is, in machine learning, hyperparameter optimization, or tuning is the problem of choosing a set of optimal hyperparameters for a learning algorithm. A hyperparameter is a parameter whose value is used to control the learning process. By contrast, the values of other parameters are learned. Hyperparameter optimization finds a tuple of hyperparameters that yields an optimal model which minimizes a predefined loss function on given independent data. Question number 12, what is a machine learning model? Your answer is, a machine learning model is a file that has been trained to recognize certain types of patterns. You train a model over a set of data, 
providing it an algorithm that it can use to reason over and learn from those data. Question number 13. What is scalability? Your answer is. Scalability refers to the idea of a system in which every application or piece of infrastructure can be expanded to handle the increased load. For example, suppose your web application gets featured on a popular website. Suddenly, thousands of visitors are using your app. Having a scalable web application ensures that it can scale up to handle the load and not crash. Question number 14. What is resiliency? Your answer is. Resiliency is the ability of a server, network, storage system, or entire data center, to recover quickly and continue operating even when there has been an equipment failure, power outage, or other disruption. When one server in the cluster fails, another node takes over with its redundant workloads. Question number 15. What is feature engineering? Your answer is. Feature engineering is the process of using domain knowledge to extract features from raw data. A feature is a property shared by independent units on which analysis or prediction is to be done. Features are used by predictive models and influence results. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.